Hi guys, it is an unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise. We're along the banks of Coal Creek in the El Dorado National Forest, California. We're about 50 miles due west of Lake Tahoe right now at about 7,000 feet in this paradise and uh, I tell you guys talking about getting out there and enjoying it while you can I've never seen anything like this I would say the the mortality of the trees up here uh, about 50 miles west of Tahoe I would say 25% of the trees look like this and I mean it's ugly out here uh, I mean, I've, I've heard about this they're saying a hundred million dead trees in uh, in California 100 million I don't know where they they just pull that number out of their ass uh, I guess if there's a hundred million dead trees in California, then uh, I guess that means there's 400 million trees in the whole state because at least in the El Dorado National Forest, you know, even with this, but you know, the trees that are healthy, you know, after this glorious year, you know, they're beautiful. The, the trees who aren't dead are absolutely uh, beautiful. The big guys seem to have made it. The, the big daddies uh, seem to be in pretty good shape. What I guess is the northern, is the western red cedar? The cedar seems to have pulled through pretty well, even the, all the cedars. I don't see much mortality here, but uh, the spruce trees, whatever kind, I don't even know what kind of spruce or fir tree this is. Uh, I would say 25% of them just going down. Now this, this tree here has three live branches. Uh, the tree on the right is half green half brown it's poor friend on the left the ponderosa pines getting absolutely hammered it's uh they say the big boys who have been here for a long time probably been through this before they seem to be doing all right because i guess their roots go a lot deeper but i'm talking to this size tree i'm talking about the ponderosa pines with about a 24 inch trunk you know about chest high where they're about 24 inches i don't have any idea how old a tree like that is they're absolutely getting hammered in, in that age group uh but it's uh it's ugly at my campsite there are six dead ponderosa pines looming over my tent six in one campsite and you're going to hear one of the signs of the end times is literally more and more people will be getting crushed by uh by falling trees one of my favorite campsites in the state of california i went by a couple of days ago and there was a dead tree I mean right smack where I put my tent uh, and look at this this tree I don't know when it went these two trees and, th and these are pretty big boys I don't even know what what species they were uh, that's what's opened up this view here. Look at that. You can't see it because of the sun. This one here 
is going to fall, hopefully not in the next one minute. And me and the little dog will be taken out. But, uh, you know, paradise is under attack. It almost makes you want to be a chemtrail wacko. You know, the chemtrail wackos are saying, I guess Dane Wigington and the boys are saying this is from the aluminum, barium, and strontium coming out of the chemtrails is what you're seeing here. I'm thinking it's what you're seeing when a tree doesn't have a drink of water for five years. But, uh, at least they got a reprieve this year and let's hope next year too. But even the ones, you know, some of the, I would say 10% of the trees in this, in this part of the El Dorado National Forest they're half green, half brown. They're struggling. Maybe if we get another couple of uh, wet years, we can start having trees looking like this little beauty. Look at that little guy. He made it through. Hope for the future. But uh, guys, you need to get out here in paradise while you still can before a dead tree falls on your tent and crushes your uh, doomsday tourist ass. This is your old doomsday tourist and his little dog reporting from the front lines of the end times in paradise. This little dog, you say, well, there's plenty of chippies in these dead trees. Plenty of chipmunks. And these dead trees, I don't mind these dead trees. There you go, there's the future of, uh, there's the future of the El Dorado National Forest. But, uh, firewood is plentiful. No shortage of firewood in the High Sierra this year. <laughs> Just, uh, keep your campfire under control. Bye, guys.